Now I'd like to invite Daniel, Daniela Yoon and Councilman Weaver back up to the stage to join me in announcing the top 10 finalists for this year's grand prize. Our number 10 finalist this year is Ninel Abrahamian from Atanian Arts Center. Congratulations, Ninel. Please come up and join us on stage. I just want to add one thing. You're all winners because you're here. So don't go out the door feeling sad if you aren't one of the top 10. You competed and you're a finalist and you're here. Be proud of your kids and yourself. Thank you, Councilman. At number nine, we have Charlotte Boulard from Fremont Elementary. Way to go, Charlotte. <laughs> Finalist number eight, Amy Sarohanyan from Toll Middle School. Great job, Amy. <laughs> Finalist number seven, Chloe Keshishian from Shamilian Armenian School. Congratulations, Chloe. Finalist number six, Genesis Marshall from Atanian Art School. Way to go, Genesis. Now for the top five. At number five, we have Dion Moradi from Mountain Avenue Elementary School. Great job, Dion. At number four, we have Katiana Kasparian from Armenian Sisters Academy. Congratulations, Katiana. We're just moments away from unveiling our grand prize winner, so I'd like to point out that the top three finalists will all have a tree planted in their honor at the school or place of their choice in commemoration of Earth Day 2012. So now, at number three, let's hear it for Artash's Martirosian from Mark Keppel Elementary School. Great job, Artash. <laughs> this year's second place finalist, Thais Arieta from Glen Oaks Elementary School. So that just leaves us with this year's grand prize winner to announce. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's with great pleasure that I introduce to you our 2012 grand prize winner for the I Love My Neighborhood poster contest. I am part of my neighborhood, Michelle Tomasian from Balboa Elementary School. I'd like to at this time invite back up Neighborhood Services Administrator Sam Engel to say a few final words. Congratulations to all our winners here. Congratulations to all of you. Let's give them a round of applause before I go on with the other stuff. A couple of other things. We heard a little bit about thanking the teachers and the teachers thanking everybody and talking about a village raising a child. All of this would not happen if it weren't for the support of the parents. Parents, I don't want you to applaud. All of the contest winners, I want you to thank your parents with a round of applause because they did this. Contest winners, thank your parents with a round of applause. They are supportive of you and you certainly could not have done this without them and we appreciate them, we appreciate you. Now, I would like to invite up here with me Inspector Litter. And Inspector Litter's right here. One of the things that we do at the end of the ceremony is we all take a pledge to do what our artists told us that we would do this year to take care of our community. So let's all stand. Let's raise our right hand, and I'm gonna say it, you're gonna repeat after me. I promise, I promise to be a part of my neighborhood and my community, to be a part of my neighborhood and my community, to pick up litter, to not graffiti, to recycle this earth's resources, and make our community and Glendale a better place. You've taken the Glendale um, Inspector Litter Pledge, congratulations. We expect you all to live up to that. Have a seat. 
Michelle, yes. describe your poster. Come on up here and tell us what, why you did your poster. I drew, I drew my posters to show how I am part of my neighborhood. I drew myself inside a tree, and on each branch I show, I show something about Glendale. On, on the first branch, it's a light bulb that saves energy. On the second branch, it's a picture of a jewel that represents Jewel City. And on the branch in the middle, it shows the picture of the world that shows I'm in my neighborhood. And on the next branch, it shows Glendale. And the last branch, it shows a sign that, sh uh, that tells you to recycle. Thanks, Michelle. Can't ask for a better message than that. That's a sign of a true leader, don't you think? Enjoy the reception for your child's, for, I'm assuming, first um, art showing and gallery showing. Thank you all for being here. With us here is Nanel Abrahamian. And what school are you in? Atanyan Art Center. Atanyan Art Center. Can you tell us a little bit about your poster tonight? I drew um, butterflies holding the I am part of my neighborhood and kids, including me, um, helping um, the, our city be clean and green. Yes, and it was a wonderful poster. And what is your favorite thing to draw on the poster? Favorite thing is the donkey. Oh, lit or not, yes. I know I interviewed you. You did an excellent job. What um, did you place? Third? Uh, yeah. Nice. That is amazing. Did you think you would be third? Mm, yeah. You did? Wow, you are very bold, and I hope you're very proud of your poster. Yeah. Did you think you were going to be a top ten finalist tonight? Um, no. No? So you're pretty surprised? Well, kind of, yeah. Kind of? What is your favorite part of the poster contest? Um, drawing the poster. Yeah? You did an excellent poster. Are you surprised you're top 10? Yeah. You're surprised? Did you think you'd even be up here on stage in front of all these people earlier? Yeah. You did? You know you're that good? Yeah. Weren't you a finalist before? Last year. Last year you were a finalist? Yeah, but I wasn't in the top 10. Oh, so your poster this year is even better? Yeah. Um, can you tell us a little bit about it? Maybe we could see it a little later. Well, my poster is about... Um, well, I drew a street, and I imagined how my street was with the city hall, the medical center, um, and I even drew the Glendale sign. The donkey was holding the Glendale sign. So I drew the medical center, the library. Um. So you drew specific things that are in your neighborhood. Perfect. I heard a story about your poster. Something happened to it. Can you tell us about that? Um, well, my poster has was stolen, and it wasn't returned for two days, but then it finally was returned in pretty good condition. It's just that there was a little wrinkle on it, and um, I guess the person who stole it just liked it a lot, so I guess it's kind of a good thing, but sort of not. <laughs> I, I remember seeing it, and the person that took your poster, they, they put a Sharpie and covered your name? Yeah, <laughs> well, I guess they tried to turn it in as their own, but then I guess they felt bad and then put my name again. Well, I'm so glad that they returned it. If not, we wouldn't have you as a top ten finalist. Were you excited when you were um, called up on stage? Yes, I was very excited. A lot. A lot. We have here second place winner, Thais Arieta. What school do you go to? Lennox Elementary School. Glen Oaks Elementary. You did an amazing job. Can you tell us about your poster? Well, um, I drew this with my mother and my dad. They helped me do all um, the horse and all the stuff that I made together. Mm -hmm. We did an excellent job together. My sister got some ideas and, yeah, and we, we did together all together. Well, I'm sure your whole family is proud of you for the excellent job you did. And did you think you'd be in the top ten? No, I didn't. With us here is Michelle Tomasian. Michelle Tomasian, the grand prize winner. And didn't you win before? Yes, I did in 2009. We have a grand prize winner for the second time. She won 2009 and 2012. So, do you love this contest? 
Yes, I actually do love it. And the only way I can make it this far is with the help of my family and my teachers. And I also got this far by remembering the quote, lightning strikes in the same place. Lightning strikes in the same place. That's a very special quote. And you did an excellent job. Your poster is behind us, and it looks amazing. Congratulations. Thank you.